Basically, atoms are made of positive and negative charges. And charges which are opposite, they attract. Charges which are the same, they repel. For the most part, we go about our daily lives without paying a whole lot of attention to these electric charges or these electric forces. But from time to time, charges get separated. And that's when things start to get interesting. In the daily graph generator behind me, basically, separate starts. Inside the daily graph generator, there are three moving belts, which you can see on the screens to my right and over to my left. And these belts move negative charges all the way to the top of the daily graph generator. And up there, they're the same kind of charge, so they repel one another. And as we add more and more and more of those negative charges, they continue repelling. And so at some point, those electric charges jump from the main graph generator through the air to a frog and back down to the ground. The movement of electric charges from one place to another is what we tend to call electricity. Now, I've done quite a bit of talking so far, so what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to turn on the main graph generator. Now, I'm not making sparks just yet. I will let you know when that can happen. For now, we can see how those cells are starting to spin. Um, and the next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to raise a drop all the way to the top of the main graph generator. You may see that metal ball that is heading all the way over to my right corner. And that's where we're going to see those sparks. And at this point, I'm about ready to make some bright flashes and loud noises. I'm going to cover my ears, and I recommend that you do this well. So here we go. Maybe 
something like, I don't know, maybe two to three sparks um, every single second. And that's pretty good. But these Tesla coils over here create 120 sparks in one second. It's so fast that our eyes cannot see each one of those individual sparks. Now, here in the theater of electricity, we have quite a bit of Tesla coils. There's one over to my left behind the wires, very close to all of you over here. Um, it's that white column with that donut shaped thing on top. That one also makes 120 sparks in one second. The difference is that that thing has to be the loudest thing that we have here in the theater of electricity. So I recommend that you cover your ears. All right, here we go. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Rubber 
rubber is what we call an insulator. It basically means that it takes a lot of energy to move electric charges through a rubber tire. Now, here at the Museum of Science, we like to abide by the scientific method, of course, and we like to test things out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my daily graph generator once again. I'm not making sparks just yet. I would like to know when that will be happening. Um, and the next thing that I've done is that I've raised the rubber tire prong all the way to the top of the main effect generator. And what I want all of you to make a prediction and to start thinking about is whether you think that those electric charges are going to move through that rubber tire or not move through that rubber tire. Um, and it looks like that doesn't look like anything. So at this point, I'm about ready to 